Symmetry abounds in the observable world, but does it in the unseen universe? Physicist Jim Gates is applying a new graphical interface to this elusive search for reality. Imagine that you had a yardstick. If you cut it into ten equal pieces and throw away nine, you'll go from something this big to that big. Take that remaining thing, cut it into ten equal pieces, throw away nine, keep one. You go from a yardstick to the size of my fingernail. If you do this process ten times, you get to the size of the atom. Suppose you did that, say, 35 times. What's left in our universe? Well, we have no instruments to measure that. And so people like me have been working on a piece of mathematics called string theory and superstring theory to answer that question. We think there are filaments there. I have been privileged to be part of a generation of theoretical physicists who have done our best to understand this thing called superstring theory. We have still not hit the home run. Let's start with our world, with its fermions and bosons that are very different, and then write a piece of mathematics whereby they look more alike. If you do that, you find out that there are more forms of matter and energy than we have ever detected. And in fact, that's the basis of supersymmetry. So we've developed graphical ways of representing the information in terms of equations. Gates and collaborators gave graphic representations the name adinkras, a West African word for symbol, to assist understanding purely four-dimensional worlds within superstring theory. I had my own personal Big Bang. At around age eight or so, Dad brought home some books on space travel. These books told me that the tiny spots of light in the night sky were actually places. And so I kind of knew how big the universe was. While a graduate student at MIT, Gates was the first person to write a thesis on supersymmetry. I've always been kind of an outlier in my field. I'm still, even at age 62, I find, following my own piper, so to speak, and part of that is the approach that I've been taking to understanding some unsolved questions.